Hi Pisces, how are you? If you're new, hi, welcome, my name is Michelle, and this is your tarot scope, which is your horoscope with cards. It comes once a month. And before I start, I want to remind you guys that my readings are divinely guided. Again, these are all general, so keep that in mind. And with that said, let's dive in. I hope everybody's doing amazing. And I have my little guide here, so <coughs> let's dive in. So for Pisces, please thank you, Spirit. Can you give me the first house for Pisces? Thank you so very much. We have the Nine of Pentacles and the second house for Pisces. Please and thank you for this month. We got the Emperor Aries energy here. Can we have the third house for Pisces? Thank you so much, Spirit. We have the Ace of Swords. Can we have the fourth house for Pisces? Please and thank you, Spirit. Thank you so much. We have the Ten of Swords. And can we have the fifth house for Pisces? Please and thank you. Thank you so much. We got that. And before I go, can I have the uh, sixth house for Pisces? Please and thank you. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, sixth house for Pisces. Thank you so much. We got, you can see, the three of swords in the reverse. So we have Earth, which is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We got the Aries energy. We have, again, a lot of air, which is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We got the Page of Cups, which is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So, with that said, let's dive in. So the first house for Pisces was the Nine of Pentacles. The first house represents physicality, uh, self-esteem, sense of identity, health. It seems to me that you're going to be working on yourself, Pisces. I see you working out. I see you taking care of your health. I see you transforming. I feel like you are feeling better and you also want to reflect that on your body. So it seems to me that somebody is hitting the gym. It's actually working out and it's noticeable. I think that if you have been working out or if you're starting to work out, you don't only will feel good, but will look good. You're going to reflect how you feel on the outside. You know what I'm saying? So I see, I see Pisces investing on themselves just to not only, of course, not to look good, but also to feel good. And that is amazing. And let me tell you that people are going to notice as well. Well, the second house for Pisces, this is the emperor here. This represents money, income, finances, and wealth. It seems to be Pisces that for, for sure this month, you're going to have that sense of security, that sense of success, that sense of abundance. Um, it seems to be that if you're waiting for the house, waiting for that, you're going to achieve all of the things that you have been wanting to. Money is coming your way and whatever money is coming your way is going to be enough for you to achieve and buy or get exactly what you want and to have the financial status that you've been seeking for a while. So this is the month for that, the month for that, the month for that abundance. Woo! The third house for Pisces, we have the Ace of Swords. This is communication letters and phone calls. It's represented with, I'm uh, sorry, with air. So it seems to be that there's going to be somebody that you've been missing or wanting to get some sort of communication or wanting for them to reach out to you that you're going to hear from them this month there is could be that they're going to call you they're going to do something right but if it's not that there's a sense of getting some sort of information about them uh, so somebody from the past most likely because i feel like somebody from the past because it seems to be that you've been waiting for this da -da -da -da. this is an air sign by the way that is coming back into your life or that you are deciding to reach out but it seems to be this is the month to be honest they're going to reach out to you or you're gonna find you're gonna actually find information about them like oh they're doing this or they're doing that so something about them is gonna feel like communication because you didn't know much about them so once again yeah, this month, this month, some sort of communication with a uh, air sign. With the fourth house for Pisces, we have the Ten of Swords. This represents home, family, real estate, emotional security. With the Ten of Swords, I see still like you're still struggling with some sort of emotions, uh, um, Pisces. But this month, you will going to be forced to face them. Something or somebody that hurt you in the past or some situation that's hurting you, you are going to fa uh, face it this month because it needs to end. So this is the month for you to face your fears when it comes to emotional situations here. There's going to be a situation in family as well that you, uh, you're you going to uh, argue with a, either or a close friend or a close family. But this was needed because also there was a situation that was making it very uncomfortable and awkward for you. Uh, but again, this is the month for you to do the shadow work that you didn't want to do, which is face some sort of emotions, like accepting something is going, whatever it is, is happening is going to force you to do so. Fifth house, the fifth house, we got the page of cups, represents children, speculation, romance, love affairs, and fun. Um, it seems to be that somebody, like I said before, uh, okay, if you don't want, if you're 
having fun, love affairs, right? Be careful because you can actually have a surprise baby, okay? So if you're not seeking for that, you need to be careful because this month you're very fertile and you can get somebody pregnant or somebody can get you pregnant and or if it's not that, somebody needs to advise when it comes to unprotected sex because somebody that either or is a sister, a, a brother, they could actually get themselves into a situation that they're not ready for. So keep in mind that this is a surprise baby, not only coming from you, but coming from somebody surrounding you. So if you know about somebody that could be doing something that you should, that you think they should wait because they're not ready for, and I'm talking about minors, like 17, 16, you know, like these teenagers that are crazy sometimes, don't hesitate to give that advice. Tell them to be abstinent or to be careful. You know what I'm saying? But if it's not, none of that, if you don't have a brother or sister or somebody that needs advice, is yourself or somebody that you know. Anyways, take it the best way it resonates because it seems to be that a baby can happen, but it's like a surprise baby. So, honest of you, um, it seems to be that you're going to reconnect also with a love affair. This is somebody that you didn't date. This is somebody that you just talked to or liked. And you're going to reconnect with this person again. And some sort of feelings are going to come back. And you guys are going to start talking to this person once again. And somehow it's gonna feel like fun because you did like you did like this person, Pisces. Well, then we got the sixth house, illness, work, and daily routine with the three of swords and the reverse. Oh my gosh! I, there's a change of work here. Um, change of management that you're not expecting. Um, there's gonna be extra amount of work this month. Like, it's going to be, like, the very last minute. That somehow is going to change your daily routine. Like, this could be schedule-wise. But it's a change of management or extra work, like, over time that you're going to face this month. And it's going to affect you in a way that you're going to be tired, but you actually going to be having a lot of money in your pocket. Also, you need to take care of your back, Pisces. If you don't take care of your back, uh, they're telling me that this month... Uh, something could happen with your back like you can hurt it and it could affect you in this success right that we are talking about so you need since day one this is a warning and an advice to take care of your back if you are working on construction or things that you lift right please wear a belt because you can fucked up your back i'm gonna try to cut that off because i shouldn't say that but you can mess up your back if you don't take care of it if you don't fix it if you don't put protection because you can mess up your back so keep that in mind. They don't want you to hurt yourself. They say that if you don't take care of it, your back will need surgery. So take it, take it seriously. If you're good now, don't even gamble with that. If your back hurts, go to the doctor. Like, you know, that kind of hurt. So now we're going to go with the seventh house for Pisces. Seventh house for Pisces. Thank you so much, Spirit. We have the eight of wands. Eighth house, eighth house for Pisces. Thank you so much. We got Capricorn energy. The devil. <laughs> we got, can we get the ninth house for Pisces? We have the six of pentacles. Can we get the tenth house for Pisces? Okay. We got fire, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. We got Capricorn. We got Earth, Taurus, Vigo, Capricorn. And we got the Magician, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius right here. So, one, two, three, four. So, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, I'm sorry. Seven, eight, nine. So, sorry. I lose count sometimes. So, seventh house, it is represented as the eight of wands. So the seventh house is spouse, mate, partners, marriage, committed relationships, enemies, and opponents. Eight of ones. Ha! <laughs> Okay, there's going to be some sort of competition here. You are you could be interested in somebody. Somebody, this could be the person that I told you that you are going to reconnect with. That it was like a love affair. But there is competition here. Okay, there is competition here with the eight of ones. You need to be aware of that. This competition, okay. Um, <clears throat> but it seems to be that you have the upper hand. This person that you are going to not competing for or that you still like even though that they could be in a relationship or i don't know something like competition um it's worth doing because this person still have feelings for you 
so this could be a situation of a third party like you know like i don't know forever lovers and you know you gotta get them back i don't know do you call it the best way you want you know but anyways it's gonna be some competition but it seems to be that you have the upper hand on winning this person and having a strong relationship with i know that people are gonna be like well if they cheated on them they could cheat on me then don't do it if that's how you think don't do it but if you want to do it do it because people are so bothered by other people's opinions and freaking decisions like if you're not gonna do it nobody's asking you nobody's telling you just go like oh i'm not doing that and that's it but no they're so bored that they have to tell people that they wouldn't do it well who asked you Anyways, I have to be petty. Otherwise, it's not me. So we have the eighth house, which represents the devil, right? And guess what? The eighth house represents sex, <laughs> taxes, other people, money, loans. So it seems to be, babe, that there's tons of sex here, okay? You're going to have fun. Fun. There's somebody here that you're very attracted to that you're going to be reconnecting with. And you're going to be sleeping with this person. So, um... A lot of sex, a lot of sex talk, if you can't see them right now. There's going to be flirtation text here and there. And I said, there's a spark here. You thought it was gone, but this person is going to bring all those memories back. But there's a lot of sex here. So, mm, mm, mm. Also, I see taxes doing you a good favor this year. You're going to feel very good. You're going to be feel very, very, very good. Um, it's just to be that you are, like I said, there's going to be some sort of like transformation when it comes to your health i feel like you are gonna look so good this this year you're starting or you already started but trust me that you're gonna see improvement this month um another thing this person and you that you're too attracted to you guys are attracted to spirituality you didn't know that you didn't know this about this person but you guys are gonna be like reconnecting and that is gonna make you it's gonna turn you on even more <laughs> oh boy so the ninth house here wait did i skip anything give me a minute now nah the ninth house here this is the six of pentacles um represents long distance travel religion law da, da, da. so with the six of pentacles here it seems to be that you're going to be talking or reconnecting with somebody from that's out of distance it seems to be that you're gonna actually both of you're gonna plan a travel or a way to see each other uh there's an unexpected planning here i see a road trip all this view um I see you guys sharing, like I said before, the same spiritual beliefs and the same issues with your spirituality when it comes to family. But I see a very unexpected, a last minute uh, planning of a road trip to go see each other. And I don't know why. I see you both going into like climbing, like, you know, mountain stuff. Like, I feel like you guys did not know, but I see somebody like this covering that you guys like camping so you're gonna develop a love about with camping or something like that and collecting stuff like quarters for some reason not sure why okay and the 11th house here the 11th house here um this represents friends groups social activities hopes and wishes yeah um sorry i just sometimes don't read the numbers well so like i like i said before friends groups social activities hopes and wishes like i said before the 11th house right here again you guys are gonna make new friends and this could be because of this person that i told you you guys are gonna have the door open door to meet people who are just like you have the same beliefs and you're gonna have the chance to get to know new people again and learn from them as well so it's like a new group a new era it's like once again just getting in your groove you know like with people like you so again this month you're gonna meet people that like the same things as you it's like for finally finding your people you know what i'm saying and then we're gonna go with the 12th house here for pisces and the overall energy for pisces so the 12th house so we have, by the way, King of Swords in the Eight of Cups. So we have Air, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Uh, air and a Water uh, element. So the 12th house is represented as the King of Swords in the 
12th house represents solitude, confinement, uh, retreat, sacrifice, secrets, meditation. There's going to be like a secret uh, relationship. Okay, this could be between you and somebody like the one we were talking about. But it's going to be some sort of secret relationship in between you and somebody. It's like my little dirty, dirty little secret. Like that song. Um, there's going to be like a hidden relationship here. And or this could be like, oh, I don't like this person that much. But there's going to be a sense of secrets in between you and somebody else. Mm -mm. also um this is like a gift somebody is gonna give you a gift or you're gonna give this person a gift but everything has to be very carefully because this is a secret but soon there's gonna be like a secret relationship starting or if it's not a secret like that it's like you got sliding yourself saying like i don't like this person and you do end up liking them also, you're going to have, you will got, you will actually, this person is going to help you find this month, whenever this all happened, find the wise person that you really are, like a wiser person. Also, um, you're going to go through a transformation and you're going to finally find your purpose in life. Thanks to this person, thanks to the people that you're going to meet. So this is the month for you to once again have that breakthrough and not only have the money and all that, but it's just finally getting out of your shell and understanding who you are and understanding what's your purpose. And uh, this is the overall energy, the eight of cups right here. Finally, finally finding your people, finally finding your place, finally finding where you belong, and finally finding the love that you were seeking or that you have been seeking for a while. So it's finally the fulfillment. It's like you had this all these empty cups that you didn't know how to fill them. And now these cups are going to be filled on their own because you are where you are supposed to be. So this month is finally the place that you're supposed to be in. This is the overall energy here. So this is the end of your horoscope. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. I'm coming back with a uh, tarot scope every month. And your tarot readings are coming this week as well. Again, thank you so very much. I hope you guys liked it. Again, I'm still, you know, trying to learn. So that's why I go back and forth because I just, this was suggested by me. by Not by me, by somebody else. And I'm just having my little notes. So that's why I do it like that. And I also have a mom brain. So I don't want to forget. And I forget that I forget. Anyways, thank you so very much. You guys have, you guys have an amazing night. And I'm going to get the heck out now. Bye.